basically close this hole back in so that this play and the steering is no longer there. And now we got no play in there. And it's gonna feel real good when I turn the steering. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you look at the bolt, it was in here, right? And it's constantly in there going back and forth, right? It like warps down, so it's like, that's what's also causing play. I got this bolt. I got two of these. They should do the job. It's a lot snugger of a fit. Less play. Less play so we can have more play. Bro, I am getting eaten by mosquitoes here, bro. You see those lumps, bro? Those are mosquito bugs, bro. Last week we went and picked up this Yurf Dog 333. I did a little bit of research. I found the model and stuff. They do still parts for it and stuff. I ordered a bunch of parts for it. I ordered some new suspension, some new tires for the back. Oh, I ordered new brakes. But yeah, basically, the name of the game this week is going to be um, rust removal. I don't know if you guys can tell. I already started. I've been trying to get all this rust off. I was trying to use paint thinner, but. That shit is not working. That shit is not cutting through it. So I went and picked up a grinder and a 40 grit, uh, like circular disc. I mean, this is literally just eating this shit away. I did this in like 30 seconds. So hopefully by the end of the week, we can have everything painted. Some of the parts, that, most of my parts are actually coming in like two weeks. So really this week, name of the game is rust removal and painting. So um, I'm not gonna just like buff it a little bit, you know, and just get the surface off because Underneath all this paint is still rust. I'm still finding more rust. So I'm gonna get it down to the bare metal and uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing with these 18 volts, bro. They're gonna last like five minutes, and then I gotta recharge for like fucking three hours. Wait, what? Maybe it just got too hot. Nope. Great. So that's a wrap on that for now. If only I could put that 40 volt on this thing. I'm not gonna go buy a fucking $200 battery right now. I don't know what it is, but look at these welds too. So basically I'm gonna chop this entire thing off. And if you look at it from the top, bro, it's completely bent, bro. It goes straight and then it's bent. Like somebody crashed, obviously. And I mean, look how it's cut, bro. Like, yeah, bro, moxie. We're gonna chop this off. Good thing I got a grinder now. Cause this has gotta go. I don't know. I think it messes up the look of everything too. Looks like some some lips or something. I don't even know, bro. Now that's also gonna be some weight reduction too. 
because this thing is heavy as fuck, bro. I'm like actually getting concerned that the motor for my bike is not gonna be strong enough to like actually have fun with this thing. So um, hopefully that's not the case. But uh, yeah, we got the tires. We got the tires coming in the mail today. They said they were supposed to come in two weeks, but it just changed all of a sudden and says it's arriving today. So we'll see if that's true or not. But we should also get that lock off. I almost got it off last time, but I returned that fucking. Right, I don't even know how to say that brand. Right, right, right. Ob, I don't know. Fucking trash. I returned that shit and got it walking. Yeah, it's turning out great. So. <laughs> So I just left work, bro. It's 6 40 a.m. You know what I'm saying? It's my break right now. I only have a 10 minute break. I live like 15 minutes away from work, but I just left work to go home because it's fucking raining right now. And I need to go. I got all my tools and power tools outside right now and the go kart, bro. I need to cover the go kart with the tarp and I got to put all the power tools in the fucking in the house or underneath the tarp or something, bro. Because, but I, I'm, bro, I don't know, bro. I got to literally the go-kart i sanded everything off bro all the rust and everything that's the that shit is bare metal bro that's just gonna rust the second it touches water again so i'm just trying to rush home bro do this shit real quick and i'm gonna go back to work but uh hopefully i don't get in trouble for this Got the suspension in. Y'all and I ready for the suspense. You ready for the suspension? Oh no, that's too much suspense for you. Bow! Damn. You guys, I got it to a point where I like it. Um, got most of the paint off. It's pretty much bare metal. There's some rust through. But what are you gonna do, bro? I'm not, I'm not gonna be grinding this thing all year, bro. So, um, I bought some paint. Let's put some primer on and uh, let's get to it. Let's go, bro. Okay, I'm 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 excited right now, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So I ordered, I ordered this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be the right size. This was the original that was on the motor, right? And you can see that this the hole is small, right? Now this hole is a lot smaller than that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I was thinking, like, bro, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was thinking I was gonna have to like 
get something custom made or whatever then i ordered something else like two weeks ago i ordered another gear i ordered two gears just in case one didn't work and the one that came first was this one and i was like fuck dude the other one's not gonna work either bro the other one just showed up in the mail bro let me show you excuse the mess I, i'm building the go-kart you know what i'm saying this one just showed up in the mail bro i checked the sizes bro the size, the whole sizes are the same. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, after I got this one in the mail, then I was like, oh, duh. I just should just measure it and check the sizes and shit. But, like, I mean, obviously, that's what any normal person would do. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm figuring this shit out, bro. So, um, but this one, bro, I got fucking, I got lucky, bro. I knew that I needed the Yerf dog chain so that uh, it would go with the sprocket that's already on it. And so... But I just tested this out. This fits on the motor now. And look at that. So in case you are in case you guys are wondering what this is, this is a 428 like chain size or whatever. So that's the size of the teeth and it's a 10 tooth. And this is the, the inner diameter for this. It's 10 across and then I think it's, Fuck, I can't remember the other name. Uh, I mean, the other number, but I'll put it up on the screen right now. I'll put the whatever. But this is what you're going to want if you are doing the Yerf Dog conversion. This chain size is 420, okay? So we got a 420 chain, but a 428 tooth, not 428 tooth, but a 428 gear, okay? So I looked it up. It says that 428s and 420s are commonly run together and they should have no problems running together. They mesh up perfectly online. It says that. So um, I'm going to just go with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and yeah. And by the way, this is not a tutorial. This is just what I'm doing. So this motor could possibly not even like give this thing that much power. So I don't know, bro. We are literally just swinging in the dark right now. So uh, hopefully this works. If not, worst case scenario, I'll go to Harbor Freight and get an engine or whatever and throw it, slap that on there. But uh, um, yeah, so this is where we stand right now. Um, here's the tires we got, bruh. Look at these things, bruh. These are for the back. These were like 90 bucks or something like that. Can't remember. Uh, but they look like they're gonna uh, definitely have some, oh shit, have some good grip. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just like I don't on my phone right now, bro. I think I'm gonna wrap it up right there, guys. It's been a long ass week grinding away at this thing. Get ready for next week's video. We're gonna be painting this thing, getting it all put together, all the new parts. You know what I'm saying? We got the steering wheel. We got the suspension, bro. We got the new gear, the new chain. We got everything that we need. We're gonna be disassembling the 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 SX500, taking it apart. You know what I'm saying? Putting, getting everything ready to go onto that beast right there. I don't know if it's gonna be a beast. We're gonna see, we're gonna find out. Um, yeah, 72 volt, 3000 watt, Yerf dog. First to do it. I haven't seen it on YouTube. Um, I've been doing a bunch of research and it looked like one other person did some type of Yerf dog electric version of it, but nothing like what I'm doing. And uh, it was like, it was a complete mess of a setup and it was like a five-year-old video. So first one's doing an electric Yerf dog go-kart. A 20-something-year-old go-kart. I don't even know. Yerf dog has been out of business for a long time. So first to do it, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all subscribe, hit the like button, share this video. Every single share uh, means the world to me, you know what I'm saying? My last video only got 18 views, but those 18 people, I fuck with heavy. You know what I'm saying? I, I Just picture 18 people in my backyard right now, bro, and they all just cheering for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, as I'm going, do, doing this shit, bro, like, man, that's how I look at this shit, man. So, I, any love, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I really do. I'm going to keep doing this shit. I'm in this shit for the long run. So, um, I'm here for a long time. Not, I'm here for a... I'm here for a good time and a long time, you know what I'm saying? So uh, make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying, show some love. And uh, I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Make sure you catch the next video. Turn on your uh, post notifications, and I will see y'all in the next one.